Have you ever heard of the Milgram experiment? The Milgram experiment was a psychological experiment conducted by Stanley Milgram, a psychologist at Yale University in 1963. This is the ad that he put in the newspaper, looking for everyday Americans to participate in his study. Participants were told that the experiment focused on the relationship between punishment, learning, and memory. Once a participant arrived at the facility, the experimenter introduced them to a second individual, explaining that the second individual was participating in the study as well. They were told that they would each be randomly assigned roles of teacher or learner. One person, the teacher, is in a room with the experimenter, and the other person, the learner, is in the next room over and is strapped into an electric chair of some sort. The teacher calls out a list of words over an intercom: blue bird, high tower, morning sunrise, and the learner is supposed to try to memorize them. Once the list is done being read, the teacher is supposed to test the learner's memory. Here's where things get interesting. Let's say that the learner misremembers a word. Instead of blue bird, they say blue sky. In that case, the teacher was instructed to push a button that would administer an electric shock to the learner in the next room. With every wrong answer, the voltage increases in strength, going all the way up to 450 volts. Now, 15 volts isn't that bad, but once the voltage started getting up to, you know, 100, 115, 130, the learner in the other room started verbally expressing discomfort, and the walls were so thin that the teacher could hear it. With every wrong answer, the screams get louder and louder, and the teacher starts feeling bad about the fact that they're inflicting pain on someone. They would look back at the experimenter, but the experimenter kept telling them, "Continue with the experiment. Continue with the experiment." Once the voltage got up to 330 volts, the learner stopped responding altogether. But an unresponsive subject didn't stop this experiment. The experimenter kept telling the teacher, "Continue with the experiment. Continue with the experiment." The experiment didn't stop until the teacher literally refused to push the button, or until the voltage machine went up to its max, which was 450 volts. Once the experiment was over, that's when the teacher learned the truth about the study that they were participating in. The experimenter and the learner were just actors. The shocks weren't real, and neither were the screams. The actual experiment wasn't about learning and memory; it was about obedience and authority. Stanley Milgram wanted to see if the average American would be willing to ignore their morals to do what they were told. Two thirds of the participants were willing to inflict pain on another American just because an authority figure told them to. So the next time that your boss, professor, or parent tells you to do something and then looks at you crazy when you ask them why, ask them this.